Hello beautiful people, this is Josie and today I'm going to be talking about how you make your goat milk soup. So you can see my mix oil with color and additives in my oil and I'm checking temperature of my live mix with goat milk water. So I've mixed it already beforehand and now I'm checking temperature of my oils, my melted oils and I'm making sure it's okay for me to pour my lye water into my oils. Now, before you mix your lye, you mix it with your frozen goat milk. So I've done that already beforehand. And now I have done that and cooled down and trying to check if there's impurities in my lye water so I can sieve it out before adding to my oils. Now, after doing that, I've seen that there's none. So I literally have to pour everything like that into my oils as you see me doing right now so basically this recipe is a very sensitive recipe and you have to be very careful when you're making this recipe because it's maybe goat milk and goat milk easily gets burned so you have to freeze your goat milk <laughs> So after doing that you see i'm stirring now i'm stirring with my spatula i'm not stirring it a stick blender because i'm trying to avoid my soap getting thick very fast because i'm my formula for this soap um is it's hard it's a very hard soap so it goes to trace really fast so i'm trying to use a spatula to control the way my trace of my soup so if you see me using a spatula don't be, don't be surprised it's just i'm just trying to control the tracing of my soup so that it doesn't get too thick for me to point to the mold so please if you are doing this recipe wear hand gloves wear protective gear i had already done my light mixture already beforehand wearing my hand glove and all that and i just felt mm, i'm not working with um, something really harsh again anymore so please and i'm working with a little bad size so i don't feel the need to use a glove so please don't follow me like that too use glove and use protective eye goggles and wear your long sleeve clothes so you see store stir it has already started sticking up so i want to pour it into my mold you can see my oils i've added my additives inside i see why you see those particles and the, the the soup it's my additives that are inside the soup and i'm pouring the remaining batch the remaining little one into my tablet capsule this soap is very rich on the skin it exfoliates brightens the skin and gives you a smooth glowing skin i need i need you to try this recipe at home so if you want to know more just click the subscribe button and share like my videos and follow me on my instagram page and also visit my website to see more detailed online videos on how to make products so um, stay tuned as i bring to you the best of the best recipes and diys on how to make your skin care products so follow me on social media at Josie's natural my skincare brand patronize me and um have a good and lovely 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 day bye